start again <laughs> <laughs> i guess last year was a little busy for you well yeah um over let's talk about the last year though over the last since last may when we've technically moved here full time um we've stayed and we had a great winter here finished up the sunroom and did stuff like that but this winter we are going to go down south with our fifth wheel and still have the trailer. So we're going to spend a few months down there. But um, other than that, uh, we haven't had the urge to go anywhere because... Yeah, look at it. You just Why walk do out. to go anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, it's just being... We're just comfortable here. It's just hang around until we go away in the winter. Well, we've been going, yeah. we we have been the last few, well, not for a few years, but we were for a few years, every fall, like September, going to Banff. And this, oh, it beautiful. was early, it was like April, May, when he, Glenn said to me, you want to go to Banff in September? And I went, no. <laughs> but <laughs> that's because I wasn't, didn't have any desire yeah. to leave. But now yeah. I'm probably go for a couple weeks. Sure. Just a couple so we weeks, might. that's it. Well, it's still a vacation <laughs> living here because yeah. you just moved in, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah well, yeah, and it's just, we're just comfortable here. Yeah. There's, there's no urge to need to see something different. Uh, what does a, a year in your life look like? Do you travel a lot or do you stay at home mostly? We travel in the winter. Um, we usually go three weeks to Mexico. And then we just around Winnipeg. We have our granddaughter here, so we stay close to them. And oh yeah, That's one nice. day we will be gone, probably three months, I think, in the winter. Yeah. But right now we have two huskies, so we will not leave until they're no longer with us. I see you walking around the park all the time with the huskies, so well, they you need, must like they, walking. They need their exercise, <laughs> and and it's also good for myself as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you talk me, walk me through how you came to live in a park model? Well, I just retired and uh, we bought a RV and we were thinking on taking a year. I was thinking on taking a year off and Carol was still working, or is still working. So we decided to go out west because of COVID was just ending. Mm -hmm. Or actually it was still on. Mm -hmm. So we went out west and on the island. Brian took the, uh, it was a class B travel van out to Vancouver Island for seven months. And uh, I went out and joined them for 10 weeks of those, of that time. And I was able to work in the RV pretty easy, but it was kind of cramped because it was a, it's a van. And uh, so we were talking about how we wanted to retire or what our next 10, 20 years were going to look like. We knew that the travel van was probably not going to be logistically, yeah, possible. So we started, um, and we also had a place already, a permanent site at a, a RV resort, but we could only be there from May until October. Yeah. So we needed a place that we could be in the winter, that shoulder season between being in a warm climate in an RV and then back here in an RV. And so we started Googling and uh, Cherry Hill came up. And also Carol wanted to have a full-time place mm -hmm. to come back to if something happened or some family member was sick. Or... Yeah, it's nice to know you have a backup plan, right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Man yeah. our family's in Manitoba, so we wanted to be have our base here, uh, somewhere where you could come back to if there was an emergency, we weren't scrambling to, you know, exist in somebody's basement or park our RV in a snowbank. So <laughs> no that kidding. wasn't going to work for us. So uh, thinking of uh, yeah. kids too, being yes. close to the kids. Yes, who are in Niverville and St. Anne. And so uh, one thing kind of led to another. We were very impressed with the videos we saw on YouTube for Cherry Hill um, and uh, kind of 
started to fall in love with the idea of park model living. Um, although at the time when we first came here for our first interview, we were still kind of contemplating uh, the six month, you know, and moving on and coming back and, and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, more and more, um, the downsizing part of it was, was uh, we were committed to, but whether it was going to be a permanent 12 month unit, uh, that kind of solidified when we first came here. Nice. Well, we certainly uh, want to live here forever. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we don't want to move actually, again. <laughs> yeah, we weren't sure about Steinbach either, but uh, yeah, it's the third largest city in Manitoba, and uh, we really like Steinbach. It's got everything yeah. you need. Yeah, it's a small city in a big town. Combined. Yeah, um, well, that's a good we, way to describe it. I utilize the aquatic center, which is just three miles down the road. I'm there all winter, two, three times a week and aqua size love it what a facility like i think oh, that's people cool. don't realize how lucky they are to have that and uh we golf and uh we snowshoe we skate um got five golf courses right around here yeah yeah well it really is like living at a resort Cherry Hill. And I think uh, for travel, uh, we do plan to do more traveling and we do you know, hope to get away from some of the worst of the winter weather. Um, and we actually just bought another a Class B van and uh, plan to spend a month or two in that. So um, whenever we can sort of get that fit in with my work schedule. <laughs> nice <laughs> i'll be working for a we're, few we're years kinda cr we're kind of cramped this uh winter for time because carol took a position at red river yeah in steinbach teaching this winter this year oh yeah that's really close too hey yes yeah just a few miles down the About road six minutes <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah very nice and close. so she's committed her time mm -hmm. And I'm free. I'm going to BC. <laughs> <laughs> so what does a year in your life look like? Are you here year round or do you travel a lot or? When the whole idea of doing all of this, we thought, well, this will be great. We can go away all winter somewhere warm, but we still have never done that. <laughs> because <laughs> we love it here in the winter. We love all the seasons here. You got a picture getting up in the morning and having these to all this window. Mm. And then you look out into a winter wonderland. It's beautiful. Like I just. Yeah. yeah and just, it's very protected back here. Like you have oh, a lot yeah. of trees yeah. and yeah, I bet it's like Just like peaceful. in the city though, spring is mucky. So that's yeah. when we go away. <laughs> we miss all that season, the mucky season or the rainy season or whatever. We tend to go yeah. away. I mean, there, there will be travel sometime. Yeah, we just it's, on, it's on the bucket list. Yeah. We have, and living here, it's made it so much easier to plan that, save for it, all of that. Is this how retired people live? And I says, I guess. I'm a country boy. He would have been fine with like 30 acres all by ourselves, where I'm like, <laughs> I need neighbors and people and friendships. So and this, is our this works perfectly. Well, we certainly uh, want to live here forever. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we don't want to move Excellent. again. <laughs> yeah, she said I love it here. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and we love it here. Yeah. Be best move we ever done for sure. By awesome. far, <laughs> by far the best. Man, it's just so peaceful at night. It's so completely quiet. And what a great place to be on a rainy day. And uh, I can end my work day, jump in the uh, cart, get down to the dock, and swim. It really is like living at a resort. <laughs>